Hey Dave, thanks for coming along today, how are you? Nice to be with you. Good, going to show you a great trick today. Guess what I've got in my pocket? I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't worry. It's a little red bag. Oh. Guess what's in there? I'll give you a clue. Money. Money, that's right. I like to travel the world and I collect a coin from everywhere I go. Would you like to see where I've been this year? Yes. I've been to all these places. Pretty impressive, right? Well, you don't know because you haven't seen yet. <laughs> But um, pretty impressive. I've got a, an English coin, an American coin, a euro, an old English penny, and a Chinese coin. And there they all are, look. Five coins from five different places. Uh, Chinese coins got a hole in there. You know why they have holes in, right? For peaking. For peaking. <laughs> That's a joke. It's not really a Chinese coin, it's a washer. How you get your shirt in that little hole to wash it, I don't know, but they tell me it's a washer. Um, this one here is an old English penny. We don't have these in England anymore. It's uh, a big penny. This one is a euro. Mm -hmm. All right, you've probably seen one of those before. That's a right. 50 cent euro. You know this one, that's a quarter. That's right. an American US coin. And that's a, a five pence piece. A tiny little English 5p. Very small, right? It's a bit like your dime. Right. All right, but it's only worth, it's worth nothing. You can't buy a beer with that, Dave. No <laughs> beers. I've got these five coins, and I'm going to put them just here so you can see them, and also everybody at home can see them. And there they all are, just like so. Five coins. I'm going to do a magic trick here, ready? I'd like you, with your right hand, just to scoop those up and put them in your hand. Got them? Mm -hmm. Happy? Yep. Left nothing behind, you've yep. got all of them. And I want you to drop them in your right pants pocket. Let, let them all go and give them a little jiggle. They're in there, mixed up, right? Yes. Five coins. Right. I want you to reach inside and take out two of them. Keep your hand closed, I don't want to see okay. them. Got two? Got two. I'm going to make a prediction. Not a written prediction out loud so everybody at home can hear. Okay. You are not holding, you have not got the American quarter. Have a look. What have you got? You have got a penny and a Chinese coin, right? Right. That's not the American quarter. So my prediction is right, yeah? Yes. That's the penny and that's the Chinese coin, yeah? I put them down here on the table. I'm doing nothing else. So my prediction's good. Right. I want you to reach in again, this time a bit quicker, and grab two more coins. Any two, keep your hand closed. Don't let me see them. <laughs> yeah? Got two? Got two. This time I'm going to tell you what you have got. Okay. You have got the English five pence piece, the little itty bitty one, and I think you've got the euro. Let's have a look, see how we did. Oh my good lord, that's the <laughs> euro. And that's the English five pence piece, right? Yeah. Is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah. I'll put those on the mat here as well. So my prediction was right. Yes, it was. You know why you haven't got the quarter, right? I do. No, no, you don't. Have a look. I'll tell you why you didn't get the quarter. Because it's not in there, right? No. Have a fiddle around. There's nothing. Pull the lining out. It's not hidden in there. The quarter's yeah. gone. Well, actually, inside this little bag here... There's a coin. Look, right out of the bag. One wow. quarter, yeah? Yeah. That's how I knew you wouldn't have the quarter. The quarter vanishes from your pocket. Everything is fully examinable. You can check everything and the bag. Uh, one coin vanishes from a spectator's pocket. A fantastic trick to do. Easy. It's pocket money.